loves, and welcome to another Fab Collab. Our host, Kimberly Davis from Diva Designing on a Dime, has challenged us to show what's in our cleaning caddy. As always, it was a blast, my sister. This is an open invitation, so get ready for some great tips and information to add to your spring cleaning from some of the talented sisters on YouTube. So stay tuned for some great information and let's get spring cleaning. Before I start talking about what's in my caddy, let's talk about the caddy. The caddy is in two parts. We have a bucket and then the actual caddy here. They're both from Casabella. I purchased it from Amazon a year ago. The bucket is a four gallon bucket. It has two spouts on each side and it also has measuring lines inside to help you measure your water or your solution. It's made of durable plastic. It has a handle and it cost me about $12 and some change. Not quite sure how much but I'm quite sure they still have it on Amazon if you're interested. The caddy is made by the same, Casabella. It has a flat bottom. It has a nice, sturdy, durable plastic. A great handle that really can grip. Three dividers, two at the top, and then one at the bottom, one large one, and also I put labels in here because I like to label my areas. This container holds my tools that help me clean. Inside, we have several things here. We have a couple of brushes that I just love. Of course you can use two brushes, but I love these because they have a nice hard bristle on both and they come in two different sizes. One you can use on grout lines, the other you can use in between your glass shower door or in between the, the different areas that's hard to get to crevices. And also the small one has a nice scrubbing pick here that you can really loosen up the dirt and the grime. So I really do like these. They buy OXO. I can't tell you how much they were, but this is one of the tools I just love when it comes to cleaning. Another tool that I like is this Mr. Clean Eraser. This really works on the walls to get those scuff marks off. So I have that in here. And then in these two plastic bags, I have disposable gloves. And also I have a grocery bag, one of those plastic grocery bags. I keep in here to carry around with me. So if I want to put trash or if I come across any trash, I easily have a nice bag for it. And then we, this here is my stain remover. It's empty now because I bought a new bottle. And the other one is so was so grungy. So I have to put some more stain remover in this new bottle. So this is what we have in my tool container. This next container holds my DIY cleaners. Not all of it is DIY. There are solutions that help me clean around my home and also polishes certain uh, appliances and counters. We have some virgin olive oil which is great on your stainless steel appliances to polish them. We have some wood polishes for my cabinets. Alcohol is a, of course a great disinfectant when you add it with water or you can add it right onto a rag and clean those fingerprints off your stainless steel appliances. We have some pure castile soap, which is great soap to clean your house with. And we have linseed oil, which is a great conditioner and leather cleaner. So these are items that I use when I clean my home. These items also goes in the bottom of the bucket. So we have some gorgeous, glamorous <laughs> rubber gloves. These are from Jessie Steele. I'm not sure if she still sell these or not, but I heard about her online someplace and I went to her online store 
and she had different kinds of designs and styles for her rubber gloves. They are so glamorous. I'm quite sure if you search glamorous rubber gloves, something will come up, but these are from Jessie Steele and I purchased these several years back. I also have a pair in my kitchen and I think another pair in another bathroom, but I love these, they're so cute. Then we have a glass container or mason jar for carpet freshener. I punched toes in here so they could be easily dispensed by shaking it out. So we have that. We have baking soda, many uses for baking soda. I also put a date here so I know how old the baking soda is. And then we have a mason jar for toilet bombs. I will be doing a DIY vid on this coming soon for my spring cleaning lineup. So stay tuned for that. And then lastly, we have a plastic bag filled with dusting rags and dusting mittens. This right here is a dust rag or a dust mop. It goes over a handle that I have. And here are my dust mittens, which are great for blinds. I think these were by Pledge. Not sure if they still sell these. I have purchased so many of these and I'm down to my last four now. So I'm not sure if they still have these and they were by Pledge. And they go inside this plastic bag to keep from it getting dusty. So I am going to put everything inside the bucket and then I will show you how I store everything. So this is what it looks like inside the bottom of the bucket. We have our toilet bombs, our copper fresh and our baking soda, our plastic containers for our tools and DIY cleaners. We have our plastic bags for our dusting items and our plastic gloves. So it fits nicely inside of here and this is what it looks like. So here are the products that I use for my cleaning that goes in my caddy. We have four bottles of cleaner. They're all from Method, except from the last bottle that is a DIY deodorizer. I love Method products. They're all natural and no chemicals. So if I don't use Method, I normally DIY my products and use that. This is the all-purpose Method cleaner. It's a grapefruit scent. Love this. It does a great job in cleaning counters, floors, not floors, <laughs> counters, mirrors, cabinets you have it it, it decreases and everything love it this is the glass cleaner i think it's a mint scent and it's great on glass i need all the help i can get when it comes to glass because i don't clean glass very well <laughs> so the better the product the better i clean it then we have some disinfectant this is a diy with some bleach and some water part bleach part water and that would go into the caddy. And then we have some deodorizer. I love Febreze, but I like to try different things. So this is a DIY de deodorizer uh, where you use fabric softener, some baking soda and water. And you just shake it up in here and you have your deodorizer. So that would go on one side of the caddy. On this side of the caddy, we have our applicators. We have this great brush. This is an OXO brush. I love the way it molds to your palm when you can really get in there and scrub. This is my second one. Uh, it took a while for the first one to actually be used. <laughs> I could probably still use it, but it's worn. The bristles are really worn and I had that for about four or five years. But this is a new one. I just bought this about five months, six months ago. And I love this. I'm not quite sure how much this was. Um, X OXO products you can get from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think this was like $4.99, maybe $5.99, not sure. But I like this brush. This is a very good brush. So we put that inside of here. Now this sponge comes two in a pack. You have a scrub side and an actual smooth side with made out of microfiber. These are very nice sponges. I love these. They come from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I believe you can get it off of Amazon, but it's more expensive. These cost $3.99 from Bed Bath & Beyond. These are some great sponges. I have a lot of these. These are the sponges. They're professional microfiber tough scrubs. And they say for dishes, sinks, and non-stick cookware, and they're machine washable. Like I said, you can get these on Amazon, but they have them in Bed Bath & Beyond for $3.99. And then we have my dust mop. 
This is just my been with me for years. I cannot tell you who it was by, but I just love it because it's collapsible. It's not that long handle that gets in the way. It also has this nice uh, reusable mop surface, the actual dusting part of the uh, mop that you can replace and wash. I have washed this a couple of times so it's almost time for it to be replaced. It may have a couple of more uses but I love this because it's so easily used. The, the dirt and dust clings to this. I can't remember who this by. It could be Pledge. Not sure. They came out with this some years ago and I made sure I got me a couple of these. I'm still looking for them. I don't know if they still sell it but I love this. This is very nice. So that goes into the caddy and then we come across these microfiber cloth. I have two of them, one for glass and one for all purpose. Uh, I don't like to intermingle my cleaning rags because I don't want to clean the, the glass with an all purpose rag. It, it just won't get clean. You have all that leftover sediment on here and you, it just won't get the glass clean. So I make sure I have more than one. We have an all purpose and the reason I know, I always mark them. This is a microfiber and it's great. I love microfiber rags. I have a whole lot of these. Can't tell you where I purchased it, but I know they have them at Bed Bath & Beyond in a pack. So that's the uh, all purpose one and this is the glass one. And I have that marked glass. They are great cleaning rags to have to clean and to polish your appliances and glass. So I just rolled them up inside this plastic containers. Nothing special about it. It just holds my microfiber rags and it goes inside of here. And this is what it looks like when everything is stored nicely. So we have our cleaners up at top. We have our dusting mop and our brush at the bottom. The sponges on the side and the rags in this container. As you can see, everything fits in here nicely and compact. So I'll have everything with me when I get ready to clean my home. And I just pick this up and carry it with me. Don't forget to check out the other ladies on the collab below in the description box. Just click the playlist and get ready for some great tips on how to make your spring cleaning more efficient. Love you, my sister, and I will see you guys later on the next video. Stay inspired. Smooches! The DIY recipe for the leather conditioner and the deodorizer will be in the description box below.